But why might a doctor even put an EKG on you? Well, if you're having any symptoms that they think might be related to a heart rhythm abnormality, then they're going to try to catch it with an EKG or an extended wear heart rhythm monitor called an event monitor or a Holter monitor because you want to try to catch the rhythm. If somebody is having an abnormal rhythm problem that's causing symptoms, then every time they have that abnormal rhythm problem, they should have those symptoms. So you really want to correlate it. So you have to wear the monitor long enough to actually catch it. So different things that you might want to catch, different symptoms that are caused by abnormal rhythm problems would be things like chest pain. Chest pain, especially from a blocked heart artery, that's a plumbing problem. That's a blocked heart artery problem. That's not specifically a heart rhythm problem, but you can oftentimes see evidence of blocked heart arteries through changes on the EKG. The analogy would be if you say the electrical system in this room is completely separate from the plumbing system in this room. Well, they're very separate. What turns on the light has nothing to do with whether the pipes in the walls are blocked and the sink is backed up. But if you back up the sink and some of the pipes burst and you have some water in the walls, it might inadvertently disrupt the electrical system and cause some changes. Same kind of thing with the heart. If you have electricity flowing through the heart that's telling it what speed to beat at, but you have damage to that heart wall because of blocked plumbing issues and you're having a heart attack, it is going to make those electrical signals appear differently. And so therefore, when you read an EKG, one thing that it can be used for is to help you diagnose blocked plumbing issues. That's not its primary purpose and there are other ways of dealing with that, but it's the first screening tool.